So one milliliter and one cubic centimeter are exactly the same thing. There's no difference between them. When we're going to take the measurement, you can use a balance for the mass and a graduated cylinder for liquids. If they're solids, you're going to need a ruler to actually measure them. And you will choose the graduated cylinder that best suits the roll. The smaller, the better. You get more precision. A great advantage of science over math is that many calculations mean something and you can make common sense of the answer and if your math is an error you can often realize this because the answer makes no sense. For example, if a math teacher gives you 17 times 12 and you write 194, this is wrong but you can't see it at the time because there's nothing to think about. But if you do this, Bananas are $4 for 12. How much is one banana? And for some reason, you decide the answer is achieved by multiplication. And you go $4 times 12 equals $48 for a banana. This answer is ludicrous. $48 for one banana? Even in COVID-19 ripoff scams, nobody's charging 48 bucks for a single banana. Yet. So you suddenly go, oh, wait a minute, I multiplied. Dividing makes more sense. There's just no freaking way. If $4 for 12 bananas, like, it's, it's then, uh, and you realize it's going to, well, what if I did 12 divided by 4? That'd give me $3 a banana. But it's 4, no, it's 4 divided by 12. and That's uh, one third of a dollar. Yeah, that works out. You know what I mean? You can think your way to the answer. So density has this capability as well. Now, you don't need to watch my video on using a triple beam balance. We're seriously not going to be using them unless we get back to school. But I do want you to watch these. Now, you may not be able to click on the links here. I'll try to add them to the video description. We'll see. If not, go into my slideshow and watch these. They're really cool. Trust me. It will help you grasp the concept and see how it relates to the real world. Don't just like skip them. Please watch these five videos. And number six is a mystery. Did I make a link for number six? Is it invisible or is it not there? So we're going to pause now and then I'm going to start going into some examples for your density assignment.